1999. Radio Thailand's World Service, broadcasting from the Public Relations Department in Bangkok. This is HSK9. Radio Thailand's World Service, broadcasting from the Public Relations Department in Bangkok. Relations Department of the Royal Thai Government. This is Radio Thailand News. Sadika. Starting off our national news this morning. The Prime Minister expresses concern over the impact of the ongoing coronavirus epidemic. Meanwhile, water is distributed to drought-hit areas, while more reservoirs are being built as part of the government's long-term measures to address water scarcity. Looking at the global scene, the head of the European Union's foreign service is traveling to Iran this week in a bid to reduce tensions in the Middle East. And on the business agenda, a meeting of economic ministers yields two measures to prop up the tourism industry amid the coronavirus epidemic. All the top headlines and many more coming up. National News. First up in today's national news, at uh, 7.02 a.m., the Prime Minister has expressed concerns about the impact of the ongoing coronavirus epidemic, while indicating that plans were underway to evacuate Thai citizens from Wuhan, China, as soon as possible. He also expressed moral support for public health care workers and related personnel. Government spokesperson Narumon Pinyo Sinwat disclosed that Prime Minister General Priyut Janosha has been closely following the developments of the coronavirus outbreak and remains concerned about the welfare and safety of Thai people in Wuhan and other cities throughout China. The Premier has vowed to look after Thai nationals both at home and abroad. Regarding the repatriation of Thais from Wuhan, the government has been in close contact with the Chinese government on the matter. Relevant ministries have prepared a commercial airplane to bring people back from Wuhan in the coming days. The spokesperson said the Prime Minister emphasized the safety of the officials helping Thai nationals in Wuhan and that of Thai citizens in the city, located at the epicenter of the current coronavirus epidemic. The Premier also thanked all of those who provided moral support to public health officials and reaffirmed that the government would do its best to effectively manage the situation. Water is to be distributed to drought-hit areas as a short-term measure, while more reservoirs are being constructed as part of the government's long-term plans to address water scarcity. Agriculture and Cooperatives Minister Chilam Tai Si On held a meeting with government officials on drought problems in Chiang Mai and instructed them to build water reservoirs as a long-term measure against drought. He also met with uh, groups of locals to hear about their water-related problems and ordered relevant agencies to promptly solve them. Meanwhile, Senate member Lieutenant General Zare Sak Anupa visited the upper northeastern region of the country and inspected the Hoi Luang Watershed Development Project in Porn Visay, district of Nong Kai province. Locals have fully contributed to the implementation of the project, which is scheduled for completion in 2026. Water from the project will be distributed to about 300,000 rye farmland in the dry season. 
In Ta Chung Sao province, uh, many schools are experiencing water shortage, and this has prompted the Army's 11th Infantry Division to distribute water to the schools, especially to elementary schools that faced a critical lack of water for more than a month. Meanwhile, water from the Bapakong River in Ta Chung Sao, used to produce tap water, has become salty. Water users, including those at schools and in villages, have been affected. In other news, the government is working to promote health and disease prevention among working or the working population. The Ministry of Public Health has recently uh, organized an event to award companies with excellent compliance to the ministry's 10 packages for health promotion at the workplace. The ceremony was attended by executives from government agencies and private companies. Minister of Public Health Anutin Chan Wiragun praised workplaces that have shown close attention to health promotion and disease prevention among their workers. He said the working population is a major driving force for national productivity, the economy and society development. According to the minister, the government has placed a high priority on promoting better living quality for this group of the population as well as all Thai people. Anutin elaborated that the government is concerned with an increase in mental and physical health issues afflicting the working population in recent years. The Ministry of Public Health will continue to sustainably promote the health of the working population in order to achieve one of the goals under the 20-year national strategy. February 2nd marks Thailand Investors Day and is when the National Research Council grants awards for outstanding researchers and inventors. For this year's Inventors Day, innovations relating to the prevention or mitigation of PM2.5 airborne dust and coronavirus is put on display. An air scrubber manufactured by Alpin Electronics Co., which is a high-performance machine developed over 10 years, is currently on display as the Thailand Inventors Day 2020 event. The 0.005 micron air scrubber can treat air and remove PM2.5 dust, and the machine has won awards in several foreign countries. Sora Nita Silatam, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation, inaugurated the 22nd Thailand Inventors Day event. This year, awards and recognition were given to 41 outstanding researchers in 12 fields, as well as 47 innovations and 51 inventions. Thailand Inventors Day is organized yearly in commemoration of a patented Thayapatana water turbine that was invented by His Majesty the late King Pumipoda Dunyate the Great. Those interested can view the award-winning machines at the Vitek Bangna Exhibition Center in Bangkok until February 6th. We now head to the south of Thailand. A cultural exchange event between Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia and Brunei will be taking place in Yala province on Malayu or Malayu Day in Yala this week. Yala City Municipality, together with Yala Provincial Cultural Office, the Malaysian Consulate General in Songkha and the Indonesian Consulate General in Songkha have announced the Malayu Day at Yala event for the promotion of local cultures of communities on the Malay Peninsula, as well as the promotion of local identities, livelihoods, and cultural tourism. The Malayu at Yala celebration has been or is being held for the seventh time this week, and it will be taking place from Friday to Sunday at Sanam Changpuak Park in Yala City. It will feature various activities, a highlight of which is a cultural parade by Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, and local communities in Yala. Many contests will be held at the event, including the Malay language Mashayid uh, Song Contest, the Trilingual Fable Telling Contest, Choral Speaking uh, Contest for High School Students, and Dikur Hulu Sitting Dance Contest. contest. The event will also feature an academic seminar on cultural exchanges on the Malay Peninsula, exhibitions from Malaysia, Indonesia, and educational institutions, local cultural performances, local food tasting, sale of halal food products, sale of traditional Malay clothes, and a cultural street event.